kwa dereti ya kigena ea mwaka oyo Gotamani obuge ine mudhenya waira Reu dereti eno ne ajire ilie woshire rom Geikaro ine kea buge roshine rorom Kure gotanye tuwa dereti hiyo dhudha wa ato goria azimio na ajubili Kwe heta kogoithia dereti eo nao aruna ao IUDM Makiuga ne me koroga ma na mede kithia mashio to the emwe kwa emwe ginya ya shikaro ine shia buge korea dere tieno era adhiye na abere. To the kirelie maria marahaneka kwa ihidariri. So therefore, honorable speaker, to at this time to say that we reject the finance bill in total is to reject the mandate that you are given by the people. The people gave you mandate to debate here, approve or not approve. And that is the process that we are undertaking, honorable speaker. Honorable speaker, the budget created a deficit, and in dealing with a deficit for a budget, there are three ways you can look at. Reduce the budget, borrow, or tax. Those are the three things that you need to do when you're dealing with a budget for you to finance a budget. You either borrow, you either reduce the budget, or you tax to be able to finance a budget. All these measures are available to this House. Honorable Speaker, to make a decision on how we got forward. But Honorable Speaker, allow me also to say, did the committee listen? Yes, the committee listened on the proposals that were brought from Treasury. And Honorable Speaker, it is important to note that the proposals that were made, the proposals that we had from the Treasury, did not go unchanged by the committee, Honorable Speaker. And I would like, Honorable Speaker, to just note a few things. The proposal of 16% VAT on bread was dropped. And there's a proposal in the, in the uh, report that that be dropped. That is a win for Kenyans, Honorable Speaker, that now we will not have the 16% raise on bread in the, in, the, in the finance bill. That has been dropped, and Kenyans are safe. They can have bread. And Mui and uh, the children in school can have bread at less than the proposal of 16%. Honorable Speaker, we had noise about the motor tax, 2.5. Honorable Speaker, it is important to note that the committee listened. And when the committee listened, they dropped the 2.5 on motor vehicle because the committee listened. And now Kenyans do not have to pay that motor tax. Honorable Speaker, the other, the echo tax that had been proposed by Treasury, the committee looked at it, studied it, and said we can only levy echo uh, tax on imported finished products. But for products that are manufactured in this country, they will not attract the echo tax that had been proposed by Treasury. Honorable Speaker, that is a win for Kenyans, which we might celebrate as a house, because the committee listened. Honorable Speaker, there was a lot of taxation on the payslip, and the people who had loans were even suffering. But what has this committee done in terms of those things? They have reorganized the taxation within a payslip, and now there will be more money on people's pockets from their payslip because the committee listened, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, there are many gains, many gains in this uh, uh, report, not on the finance bill, but on the report of the committee, which is what will eventually go into making the Finance Act. So, Honorable Speaker, as we move forward, Honorable Speaker, and I'm sure many other people will look at the many issues that Kenyans have gained, but I also want to look at the budget, Honorable Speaker. Today, members of this House, CDF, will have more money than before because it was proposed in the uh, budget and it is going to be financed in this finance bill, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Opio and I here celebrated the other day that political parties' money has actually been returned into the budget. And he was very ecstatic that there is money for political parties. But I asked him that question. But that money must come from somewhere. That money has to come from the finance bill, which will finance the money in the political parties. Honorable Speaker, the women, 
What's the point of order, minority leader? You know, you know Honorable Owen Bayer was doing fairly well until he mentioned my name in respect of political parties fund. Honorable, Honorable Speaker, you know, political parties fund is not a favor to anybody or to any political party. And as a matter of fact, the, the threshold set out in the law has not been met in this regime. And therefore, I want to ask you, Honorable Speaker, to compel Honorable Bayer to withdraw those very unfortunate remarks and apologize profusely, not only to me, but to the House and Kenyans in general. Thank you. Owen. Thank you very much. It is very true that uh, uh, the budget has money for political parties. And that money will come from a source. And that source is the finance bill. So, Honorable Speaker, I, I am still within my limits of speech. Honorable Speaker, I also want to say this. We have a budget that we must finance. We have a budget that we must get money to ensure resources go to Kenyans, that services go to Kenyans, that development go to Kenyans, that we have to pay debt, the 1.0 something trillion of, of servicing the debt. We have to have money to do that. And one way is to raise money through the finance bill. Honorable Speaker, we have to make hard decisions for our country in order to make it forward. But if we want to be good people, Honorable Speaker, I read somewhere that if you want to be a good person, please go and sell ice cream. But if you want to be a leader, you have to be here and make hard decisions. Your time is up. Your time is up. You must make the hard decision to sit down. Uh, one of our members, before I give the next... Na mwerorari isione shi karoshia buge ni hede dereti eke hiyo hete ko hiyo ha mwobuge oreo kwa ragia etawo Owen Bayer. Urea ni mwobuge wa kilifi ya rogogo na oho niwe munini wa area aike, munini wa mudogo itoke manisho ngwa theini wa buge.